people were genuinely afraid of this fish. They were feared for their pets and for themselves. Didn't want to go near the water. We took a number of phone calls at the regional office. We were literally had to talk people off the ledge, which is, it seems now you know, how, how crazy that you know was. But those those were crazy times. 05 and 06, when, when these fish first started showing up, they they were evil. They were you know they were the seed of the devil, and they were going to annihilate everything in their path. We still don't know a lot, and that's why we're doing what we're doing today. The jury's still out. We have not experienced the devastation that some predicted. But at the same time, it's going to be many years before we fully know the extent of any potential ecological impacts. The population's not increasing as rapidly as they were early on. It seems like there's been a slowing of the, the level of individuals you know, each year, and whether or not that's a true equilibrium remains to be seen. I'm hopeful that we have reached equilibrium here in a lot of these systems that they've been in for 12 or 14 years. Everyone I run, run into that is unfamiliar with the, with the fish only knows what they've seen on TV, which has been extremely negative. These are not the frankenfish that, that, that everyone thought that they were, or the media played out. These fish are, have adapted to, to the environment here. The other fish around them have adapted to them being here. They are coexisting with bass. When I go out to, to try and target a snakehead, I'm catching bass more than I am snakeheads. Hopefully, and it seems like at least early stage, that most of the original proclamations of disaster were overstated. Not that we want this fish everywhere, especially if we don't have it, we want to keep it that way. But right now for where we have it, based on the current information, it looks as though the fish has begun to assimilate and become to some level of equilibrium within the current fish community. So we want people to know that this it's good to go out, good to catch them, they're fun to catch, they're good to eat. We want people to enjoy them. It's Right now it's part of the resource. And the best thing they can do is catch these fish, take them home and eat them. And we encourage them to do that. They need to call, if they're going to possess an northern snakehead in Virginia, it has to be dead. And they have to call 804-367-2925, the snakehead hotline, and report the catch. And other than that, we, we, we want people, the message to be out there that, that these fish are, you know, any, any legal method, which means you can net them, you can catch them on hook and line, rod and reel, you can use archery tackle. It's becoming very, very common, fun to go at, at, go after them at, at night with floodlights and archery tackle when they're vulnerable near the surface because of their air breathing tendencies. So uh, bottom line is season's open on snakeheads, enjoy it, and hopefully the, the impacts that were initially anticipated for some of the more traditional fisheries like largemouth are, are not gonna come to fruition.